your story of what's going on based on the notes that we have given you about this lead, mm -hmm. right? We know that it's a 20,000, they're, they're being foreclosed on, on a $20,000 equity line on a house that's worth, what, what, what is the tax value on that property? Um, it's not gonna be on there, go on your geo. Up, up top, the geo data, remember it tells you everything about the person the next time. The tax value is one fifty nine seven hundred. Okay, so we know he's at least on a uh, sitting on a hundred and sixty thousand dollar house, and he's about to get foreclosed on for twenty grand. Right. So we know what the keyword is. He has what we like equity. Okay. So you're calling. You're making this phone call, and here's your demeanor de when you're making this phone call. My name is Lewis. I got a half a million dollars in my pocket, and I can buy any house I come across in this area. I just want to know if you're willing to sell your property. Right, and that's it. That's your that's your motivational mindset that you put on when you walk in that front door. That's your mindset when you sit down in this seat every day, is that you're in charge and you're the one. You have the power to, to make this. He has to sell you to buy this house. If he's interested, great. Right. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna give him a phone call and you're gonna act like he's supposed to know who you are. Hey, this is Lewis with blah blah blah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right, that tonality, remember it comes up, right? Hey, this is Lewis with Cash Homes Triad in Winston Salem. He's gonna be, he's like, he's supposed to know who you are. Right. Like, hey, this is Michael Jordan with the 95 Bulls. <laughs> like, he's supposed to understand who you are. Yeah. So, when he calls, he's trying to say, Who? This is Lewis. I'm calling with Cash Homes Triad. We're a group of uh, we're in local inve real estate investors, right? If he asks for that much information, he's gonna say something like, Hey, why are you calling? Well, I'm calling about this property about on at on you know the street name right there, all right? And then you're gonna go into it, and then hey, do you have any interest at all, at all, right? Because he can have zero to one percent, two percent, as long as you get in there that he has a little bit of interest, then the conversation can continue, gotcha. right? And then just speak about some things, and it doesn't have to be all business. You can veer off on this topic and speak about some other things with, him, right? It's just a conversation. So you don't need to have, just thinking about you calling one of your friends and you asking him if you want to buy, if he wants to sell his car, his car that you know he's always had back there sitting in the garage or something right there. So that's your confidence. You don't need to have a straight cap, straight real, real conversation. And if you ever get jammed up in there or you ever feel like you don't have the authority or you want to blame something on somebody else, say, hey, do you, do you mind if I get my manager on the phone? And I'll come in there and I'll do what I got to do. But all you want to do is find out does he want to sell it then if he wants to sell it you want to get in some more detailed information do you do this or Paul, Paul? Send me yeah, okay so let me see here okay yeah so this is the one we use a lot I, I run off of this script mainly once I get on the phone and start talking to somebody Paul's script is kind of light because his thing is he wants, he's developed his own after a while. Mm -hmm. and you will too, as long as you stay to the finding the information we want to find out. Because ultimately, you're just trying to find out, is this guy interested in selling his property? If right. he is, we're interested in buying. The numbers and all that stuff, we'll get to that point when we get to it. Okay? Things like, you know, what kind of repairs does the house need? You know, just ask general questions. You know, hey, is the roof in good shape? The AC? You know, how the floors look? Okay, stuff like that. But first thing you need to worry about is, hey, do you have some information? And then you, then so that's that you're gonna have. Um, okay, that's some good information. Okay, he's got some good stuff. But a lot, a lot of this is. Uh, I like that. Tell me a little bit about your house. Remember, that allows you to have him start speaking. Once he's okay with you being on the phone with him, right. hey, this is Lewis with Cash Homes Triad. Yeah, yeah, Lewis, blah, 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 blah. Hey, I'm calling about, yeah, okay, what about it? Will you have any interest in selling? Ah, maybe. Well, can you tell me a little bit about the house? You know, is it three bedroom, two bath, and blah, blah, blah. Get him talking more than you're talking. Right. Usually I can tell a good conversation when I look at the thing because I can see that the, the other person talk more because you ask open-ended questions in order to get him speaking, he or she speaking. So have, have the conversation where they're speaking more, you're asking open-ended questions that you wanna just keep going. Because his long conversation gives you an opportunity to start navigating the conversation, right? Because the sale has gotta be in between what? That <laughs> line, line, that straight line. Yeah. So you're controlling how he's varying off of that line. You wanna keep him on that line, right. okay? 
just go in there with that confidence. That's it. So like I said, you're going to do your first call. I'm not going to stand over your shoulder. It's all recorded. I'll come back and listen to it. If you need my help, put them on hold. Come get If you get the matter, I don't, I don't foresee something like that. Listen, you might not even get a hold of them. It's midday. Cool? cool. And then after that, we got a few more. All right. All right. Let me know when you need some help. Lewis is, is, I'm letting him loose. He's our new uh, cold caller here stateside. Um, Paul has been training him and Paul works uh, overseas. Lewis is just getting uh, uh, accounted, uh, acquainted with this stuff. So this is his first call and I'm just giving him the confidence so that he, he knows what he's talking about when he's talking to these sellers. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys up to date. Hey, what's up everyone? Giving you an update on the Ebert Road street project don't know if it's street or road i'm gonna give you an update uh day one demo has started outside painting has started uh we're gonna go in here and measure a few things and uh get some orders in uh for tile and things for the kitchen so uh follow me as francis and i go through that process later that's gonna work out good so what, what are we thinking about cabinets? Well, that's where the fridge is going to go. Yeah, but uh, color-wise, we're going to go with... White. With the white? Yeah. Or you want to go black? Huh? Black? White? I'm not put Ford in, that's a lot of money. Yeah. The black cabinets. It's a new trend, but it's a lot of money. Yeah, no, because, you know, the, the, the ones that are more recent are those, uh, like, like brown cabinets. I know. It's not gonna work. The ones I use in Compton and usually I use. I know. You want white. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Flag and get a good deal because I don't need many of them. Okay, so we'll I'll measure and see how many we need. And then we can we, then uh say flag, yeah. give me a break. Yeah. I don't know, man. You you keep on saying uh, you got a budget, and then um, sort of spending a little more. But you are saying that we spend, we, you you are but shortening the budget. I mean, we spend more, and then he says no, we're doing twenty. It was a little more than twenty, I think, originally. We spend more, and now you say you go down on the budget. So I don't know how that. That's gonna work. No, the problem is, is there are certain places you can't shortcut. Right. Cabinets, your bathrooms, okay. you just so, can't. So don't say 20. I mean, we have to go up, not down. No, no, we're still at 20. Oh, you see? <laughs> 20,000 is the budget. <laughs> no. So yeah, that, that's why I guess we do the numbers again and see, uh, because if we're gonna do a little higher end, I have to go up, not down. Right? Right, guys? <laughs> Up, down, down. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, this is a kitchen. It's gonna to look totally different. Um, you can see the wall was opened up in order to give us that new concept. So these uh, beam right here will be gone. We'll put a header in there just so it's uh, supporting a little bit more. Gives us an open concept here. We'll scroll down the hallway, it's kind of dark. But uh, you see here in this bathroom, all of this will be taken out. You see the tile was taken off. This window is gonna be frosted with, it's gonna be a brand new window. We're gonna do tile all the way to the ceiling. Um, subway tile with a uh, white subway tile with a grayish, grayish type floor, all new paint. 
It's gonna be a totally new bathroom in there. There's no light in here. As you can see, this was the old closet in the room, which was like a linen closet. We're taking away the linen closet because you got fairly big closets already. We're gonna extend this bathroom out this way so that we can put a full shower in here, turn the toilet that way with the full vanity. So in the master bedroom, you're gonna have a full uh, bathroom, which adds value to it. And that's pretty much the update for right now. All of that will happen this week. The windows have been ordered. They take about a week and a half. They'll be inside downstairs. We won't go there right now, but um, they're gonna start the framing. The walls have already been dry locked. They're gonna be framing for a new finished basement um, this week as well. So a lot of stuff is gonna be happening. Three week turnaround, and this thing should be on the market very, very soon. We'll see what happens, guys. Time's ticking, because each month it goes by, I gotta pay the mortgage. And I also have a budget on that end, so we'll see. Okay, so and then from the uh, from here to here, from the from the edge of the casing to the wall, it was uh, 51, 51 and a half. Yeah, I, I did measure that just so you know, you know what the actual measure of the wall it is. Right. Here, there's a window. Mm -hmm. but 33 at this and a half. Point, we're just we we did want to do like a maybe follow it with like a bar or maybe it could be like a, you know how at the end of the kitchen. Like say, say, this is basically what it would look like, mm -hmm. but a lower cabinet that can be turned into like a desk area with some... Oh, okay. That's yeah. my girlfriend's idea. I got you. So like a matching counter, but lower, more at a desk, right. desk height. Right. So you can, I don't know. You see, <laughs> he's putting more things into the project, but he's lowering the budget yes. at the time. So how do you do that? That's how that works. You find better workers, <laughs> find cheaper workers. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, let's add this, but let's lower the budget. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Yeah.